There are a variety of ways in which you can work with icons on your Magento 2 project. This includes, to name a few, importing transparent PNGs, vectoring SVG files, or even using web fonts containing symbols instead of typical characters from the alphabet. In Blank and Luma default themes, icons are implemented as fonts. In this video, I will follow the same approach to add more icons in the custom theme I am developing. First, we need to have some icons. In order to create an icon font, the icons have to be in the SVG format, which is a commonly used XML-based vector image format. Here I have a new icon for the shopping cart in SVG format. Once you have your desired icons, the next step is creating the font. There are plenty of free online tools that you can use to do this. Icamoon or Fontello for example. I will use Icamoon for our demonstration. In the official website, I will now go to Icamoon app. Here there is a set of some free icons, I don't need any of these icons at the moment so I will clear the space and remove the free icon set. Now I will import the new card icon. I will rename the new set to 10 theme. I will select the icon that I want to convert into a font. And I will move to the next step and generate the font. Here before I download the files from the app, I will first edit the preferences. I will change the font name to 10 theme. And class prefix to icon followed by two hyphens. Now, let's download the new font files. In the Magento 2 project, I will now copy all the files from the archive and paste them inside a new folder which will be located under Fonts directory. In the 10 icons directory I will keep all the files related to icons for this project. A quick note, you don't need all these files to work with icons in the Magento project. I prefer to keep them all, since this helped the maintainability of the project. Demo.html for example, will show all the available icons for this font. If in the future you need to check the code of an icon and the CSS class assigned to that icon, you can simply open demo.html and get the needed information. Another file is selection.json, this file should always be included in your theme, I will explain why in a moment, first let's show the new card icon in the storefront. Using font face CSS rule, I will now load the font on the web page. If you have seen the part 8 of this video series, I have explained that in Magento we don't have to use the font face rule directly in a less file. We can use the lib font face mix in instead. I will do the same even for this font. I am now assigning the correct values to this mix in. Add the path to the file. Note that we also have to specify the font format and font type here, I will use the WOFF format. The next thing to do is to copy the other content of style.css to a new less file. I will name this new file icons 10 theme so it is descriptive. The new file should be located under CSS source directory. Also remember to wrap the code using media common true. I have explained why in the part 5 of this series. Let's include this file in the extend.less. 
If we now regenerate the static files, visit the storefront and use the class icon shopping cart we will see the new icon. Next thing I will do is add a new icon in the font. I will now go back to the icamoon app. Here I am going to import selection.json from the project files. Selection.json holds all the icons for the font and also the configurations and preferences of the font. In the existing set, I will now import the new SVG file. Select the new icon. And generate font. After making sure that the preferences of the font are the same, I will download the new files. Back in the Magento project, I will update all the existing files with the new ones that I downloaded. There is only one thing left to do, copy the class of the new icon, from style.css to icons 10 themeless file. So this is how you can create a new icon font, update and use it. As a practical task for this video, I changed the icon of shopping cart in the header from the default icon to the new one. You can find the solution of this task on my GitHub account. I will leave the link in the description. And this is the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching.